let us see logical equivalence and logical implication when you have a quantified statement so let p and q be the open statements and the quantified statements let it be for all x p of x is logically equivalent to q of x if p of x is logically equivalent to q of x for any x is a tautology and similarly p of x logically implies q of x that is for all x p of x implies q of x whenever p of x is logically implies q of x for all x that means p of x if and only if p of x then q of x is a tautology next suppose you see an example suppose the universe is a set of all integers i and r of x is given by 2x plus 1 is equal to 5 and s of x is x square is equal to 9 then you can observe that there exist x r of x and s of x is false because for r of x to be true so x will be 2 so that is 2 into 2 plus 1 it is 5 whereas s of x for uh, x equals to 2 it is not satisfying that condition so therefore there exist x r of x and s of x is false whereas there exist x r of x and there exist x s of x is true because for r of x this x this r of x uh, there exist x r of x is true for x equal to true 2 and there exist x s of x is equal to true for x equal to 3 so this condition when you are having there exist separately for r of x and s of x then it is true whereas when you have combined and then outside you have there of there exist x so then the same for the same x uh, if both r of x and s r of x uh, as well as s of x is true then only this will be true so therefore there exist x r of x and s of x is not equivalent to there exist x r of x and there exist x s of x but there exist x p of x and q of x it implies there exist x p of x and there exist x q of x for any p of x and q of x and the universe now for a prescribed universe and open any open statement p of x and q of x so these are the important logical equivalence and implications that is there exist x and you have the compound statement p of x and q of x so this implies there exist x p of x and there exist x q of x which we have already seen now there exist x p of x or there is uh, r q of x that is the quantifier is for the r of the p of x and q of x is equivalent to there exist x p of x or there exist x q of x because this implies this and this implies this when it is a r symbol but when it is an and it is just one way and uh, for all x p of x and q of x is equivalent to for all x see when you have for all x then it is equivalent then for all x p of x or for all x q of x implies for all x p of x or q of x and vice versa if you observe for all x p of x or for all x q of x implies this but when you observe for all x p of x or q of x will also be true i think that will also be true so suppose example if suppose suppose p of x is x is odd q of x is x square minus 1 is even so now here negate for all x p of x implies q of x that is negate the statement if x is odd then x square minus 1 is even so the negation of this statement is negation for all x p of x implies q of x that is equivalent to there exist x negation of p of x implies q of x and we know that 
P of X implies Q of X is equivalent to negation of P of X or Q of X and that complement you have to take. So, which is equivalent to there exists X, P of X and negation of Q of X. That is the sentence meaning will be there exists an integer X such that X is odd and X square minus 1 is odd. X is odd and X square minus 1 is odd. So, a false statement and the original statement is true. So, this negation is false and the original statement is true. That is, x, if x is odd, then x square minus 1 is even. Now, one, one more example if you see p of xy, suppose p of xy is x plus y is equal to 70. And suppose you have for all x there exist y, p of xy is for every integer for every integer x, there exists an integer y such that x plus y is equal to 17. So, what is the meaning here is, suppose you have p of x y is x plus y equal to 17. For every integer x, I can find out y by subtracting uh, x value from 17. That is what here, for all x, there exists y. So, this I can find out which is therefore it is true. But suppose I have there exist y for all x p of x y. That is the meaning here is there exist an integer y so that for all the integers x, x plus y is equal to 7. So, y cannot be same for every x. So, therefore this statement is false. So, which concludes that for all x, there exist y, p of x, y is not equal to, there exist y, for all x, p of x, y. Suppose, u is the set of integers i and p of x is given by x greater than 0, q of x is x is even, r of x is x is a perfect square and s of x is x is divisible by 4 and t of x is x is divisible by 5. Find the truth values for the following. Now, here first one is there exists x q of x. So, what is q of x? x is even. So, if you consider x as a, any even integer, then x is even will be true. So, at least one integer is even. Therefore, the answer is true. So, example x equal to 2, x equal to 4, x equal to 8, any x value I can give. Next, there exists x p of x and q of x. So, that means P of X has to be true and Q of X has to be true. So, this is also true because if I consider X equal to 2, 2 is greater than 0 and 2 is even. So, there exists a positive integer which is even. So, this statement form will be there exists a positive integer which is even. So, P of X represents it is a positive integer. And q of x represent it is an even, x is an even. Next, for all x, q of x implies negation of t of x. So, q of x is nothing but x is even implies negation of t of x. If x is even, then x is not divisible by 5. That is the meaning here. If x is even, then x is not divisible by 5 for all x. So, here example here. Uh, suppose I consider x is 10 and here uh, negation of t of x says that that 10 is not divisible by 5 but this is false. So, I have 1 0 so here it is false. Next one there exists x q of x and t of x. So, q of x is nothing but x is even and t of x is x is divisible by 5. So, here the same answer which is a counter example we have given here. So, here it is for x equal to 10. So, both q of x and t of x are true. So, therefore, there exist x will be true. Next is for all x, q of x and r of x implies s of x. So, q of x is nothing but x is even and uh, x is a perfect square. If, x, if you consider x is an even and x is a 
perfect square it has to be divisible by 4 so here for all x so here if x is even and it is a perfect square then it is di definitely divisible by 4 for every x example here x equal to 16 so 16 is a even and it is perfect square so suppose you consider uh, any uh, even uh, perfect square then that will be satisfying this next one suppose if universe is a set of integers z and the same if you consider then write down the words and the truth value so this you can try it out as an example so here this is a set of integers and previously it was set of uh, integers i and uh, their quantifier statements were different now here the statements are perfect square divisible by 4 divisible by 5 for all x r of x implies p of x for all x s of x implies q of x so find the write it in words and find the truth values next again here p of x uh, is x square minus 8x plus 15 q of x is x is odd r of x is x greater than 0 again these statements you try to write the words format and find the truthness so truthness, truthness answers are given next convert to open statements if a number is rational then it is a real number so here the presence of indefinite article a indicates that we are dealing with a universal quantified statement that is the universal quantifier is the implicit quantifier so let us consider p of x as x is a rational number and q of x as x is a real number be the open statement then this above statement will be for all x p of x implies q of x x is rational that is p of x implies x is real number next second one for the universe of all triangles in a plane an equilateral triangle has three angles of 60 degree and conversely so here conversely is if and only if so e of t represents triangle e t is equilateral and e of t represents triangle three t has three angles of 60 degree so therefore for all t e of t if and only if e of t so next integer 41 is equal to the sum of two perfect squares so there exist an there exist an 41 is equal to first number square and the second number square that is m square plus n square so we'll stop here and continue in the next video thank you